this month, we're talking about fitness and how to get our bodies right. Inspiring. Real. Funny. Everyday time. This is Jess. So with me right now is my first guest, Mary Webb. She has a wonderful story about how she lost weight on her own. So I'm gonna let her tell you a little bit more about it. When I went to college, I gained 30 pounds from college. I was at my highest at 180. Um, I did not like the way the weight looked on me at all. Uh, being an athlete in high school, I felt like I couldn't wear my clothes properly. I didn't want to go out. I did not want to wear certain materials that I used to wear. Um, I, I just didn't. I, I didn't like. I didn't like the way I looked. It was. It, it wasn't me. So Mary, we just saw pictures of what you used to look like. Can you tell us more about that? Well. Yeah. Well, yeah. I was. I was getting bigger, mm -hmm. and I just didn't like it. You see the pictures. I try not to take a lot of pictures. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, I didn't like the way I looked. I always told my friends, like, oh, I don't want to be in pictures. I'm, I'm getting bigger. Mm -hmm. I didn't buy a lot of clothes because I didn't like the way it looked on me. Mm -hmm. I did not have a lot of jeans because the jeans didn't fit the way I wanted them to. Mm -hmm. A lot of dresses. So, you know, I, I, I was a confident person. I, and my self-esteem wasn't down. Right. It's just that I know what I could look like right. because I was not that big. I have never been that big in my life. Right. So you just weren't happy with how you right. looked, but you still believe that you were beautiful yourself. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Was high. Yes, it's absolutely. just you would have rather. I would have rather looked differently because I, I know, like, in, back in high school, mm -hmm. I was, I did not look like that. And right. then for, I'm like, how did I get to this? Mm -hmm. I can't. So I was like, I got to get back. So speaking of how you got there, what was your lifestyle like? Were you not really active? Were you eating a lot of bad food? No, um, I, I was very competitive in high school. Mm -hmm. um, like as far as ap ap athletics, mm -hmm. I did a lot of sports, but then after that, I was tired of it. I mm -hmm. didn't, I, I, when I went to school, when I went to college, I did not, I did not go to the gym. Right. I stopped playing basketball, I stopped playing mm -hmm. volleyball. Um, so. It's okay. You know, but I understand, because I was the same way. I was active in high school, but by the time I got to college, I was like, I just want to do my work. Mm -hmm. I don't want to play any sports. That, that's it. That's so, what I was about, right. right. And then my done. eating was bad. Really? Because you know in college, everything is open. I know. Everything's you free. Can, it's everything, a full bar every day. You can get Chinese food at 3 o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was around. <laughs> I was around for the Chinese. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. <laughs> um, so, Mary, what was your lowest point? You know, you had food everywhere, and you didn't really like how you were looking, couldn't fit your clothes, so when was your lowest point when you said enough was enough? You know what? I know. <laughs> I know when it was. My best friend mm -hmm. showed me a picture, and I was smiling, mm -hmm. and I saw, like, I had so many, mm -hmm. like, like, the, the back, that, fat. The back, <laughs> that, that was, was the bad. bottom line. Mm -hmm. That was it, it was, that was it, and I was like, you know what? And you know what else? It's like, a little personal. Okay. Why? But I, um, I was with uh, my boyfriend, mm -hmm. my ex-boyfriend, for mm -hmm. it was kind of four years. Uh -huh. And um, when he ate, I ate. Mm -hmm. He was big, and I got big with him. Oh wow! But then when we broke up, I'm mm -hmm. like, you know what? I gotta, um, I gotta change my life right. because I'm not gonna be with him. I need to change me, mm -hmm. and that was that was that was it. Really? Yeah, it was. I didn't even have. You know, another thing when I what? joined the gym, mm -hmm. I didn't have a car at that time. When I was big like that, mm -hmm. I didn't have a car, and I joined the YMCA because it was um, close to my house, so it was walking distance. So I, I can I was able to take the bus or walk to the gym and work out, and I was very dedicated. Okay. Like that. So that's really interesting. So your relationship you were in at the time and a yes. picture that your friend took really yes. brought you down to your lowest point. Right. Yes. Wow, that's so amazing. So seeing yourself, like what was going through your mind when you saw that picture? I was like, I I'm I'm big. Mm -hmm. I'm big and I know like if you would if you were to see the picture, a lot of people would think, Oh, she's not that's not even that big. Mm -hmm. But for me it mm -hmm. was big because well, I'm five seven. Mm -hmm. I think my weight. I'm supposed to be one fifty. Mm -hmm. I think that's my 
That's what the doctor said. That's say. what the doctor right. say. I'm supposed to be like 150 to 155. Mm -hmm. I was 180. Wow. So that. Well, well, Mary, we're going to take a break right now. Sorry, okay. we're going to get back and talk more. But we'll be right back after this break. Right before the break, Mary, we were talking about your lowest point and how it was when you saw the picture of yourself and the bad relationship that you were in when it was over, how you realized that you got really big through the eating and everything with your wife, with your ex-boyfriend. Right. So what changes did you make to lose the weight? Well, one, I, um, I joined a gym. Mm -hmm. I'd never been a part of a gym in, in my life, so okay. that was one step. I was like, I have to go to the gym. Right. So that's when I joined the YMCA. Mm -hmm. Then... I um, the eating, uh, the eating definitely changed. That was that was the the worst part was the eating because right. I was consuming too much food. Mm -hmm. So um, I decided to cut out soda. Okay, that was very hard because really? I, I like so I like orange soda. Okay. Uh, I like I prefer juice, but if mm -hmm. I if I feel like soda, I'll drink soda. Okay, I did not drink any soda. I drank water. Okay, and the only juice I drank was in the morning. I drank uh, orange juice in the morning, mm -hmm. and then the rest of the day I drank water for about two months. So the water, did you do like that recommendation how they say you have to have a certain amount daily, or did you no. just drink water whenever you felt thirsty? I, I drank water whenever I felt thirsty. Okay. I feel like if you, you shouldn't be confided and you should not be told when and how much water you should drink. Water mm -hmm. is supposed to be consumed daily. Right. So when I ate my dinner, I drank water. Okay. When I ate lunch, I drank water. Okay. Only time I drank juice was in the morning. Okay. So, and uh, what else? You were working out, you said you joined the gym. I joined the gym. Mm -hmm. I did not want a trainer because uh, I'm an athlete. I know I can, exactly. my body would, mm -hmm. would, 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 you know. I didn't need someone to tell me what to do. I mm -hmm. knew what I had to do. Right. I had to do a lot just of cardio. I just had to do it. Mm -hmm. I did. So what I did was I did a lot of cardio first before I did any muscle okay. building because muscle has memory. This is what mm -hmm. I was told. Muscle uh -oh. has memory. So I didn't want to work on my muscle. I wanted to lose the fat first. Uh, then work on the muscle then so that way it would stay. So it would tone. Okay. That's right. That was so, a good idea. Yeah. All so right. I, uh, I did a lot of cardio. I mean hours on the treadmill. Mm -hmm. They tell you not to go more than half an hour. Mm -hmm. I didn't listen. I just kept going. Okay. So with you doing all of this, I'm quite sure some some days you probably got frustrated and felt like, geez, I don't know if I can keep going. So oh, how did yeah. you just get through all of that and stay motivated? I kept looking at the pictures. What? Oh, the old pictures. The old pictures. Okay. Did I'm you like, have it like on your wall nice and big? No, or? Uh, no. <laughs> I had it where it was on uh, my old phone. Like, okay. Because so, I would, you know, we'll take pictures mm -hmm. or whatever and I would look at my phone mm -hmm. and I'm like, I'm, this is, I can't. Was it your screensaver? No, absolutely not. <laughs> Who has flowers? Not, nothing, <laughs> nothing with me. Uh -huh. it, nothing. But uh, like we, if we're going somewhere, I will take a picture here. Mm -hmm. And like I said, I did not want to take a lot of pictures, but if you're with a crowd, if you're right. with your friends, they're going to make you take pictures. So, you know, during the break, you had mentioned that you had, like, outfits that you couldn't fit, that now you can fit. Did yes. you also use that as motivation? Absolutely. Okay. You know what I used to do? I used to buy, if there was a dress I wanted, mm -hmm. I would buy it a size small. Mm -hmm. Just so, so I know I'm going to fit into that. Okay. I would, I would buy it small on purpose mm -hmm. because I know I was going to be able to fit into it. Mm -hmm. And you know what? I never wore a bikini. Never. Well, now I do. Mm -hmm. But before, back, I did not wear, wear a bikini, and I bought my first bikini on my birthday. And speaking of bikinis, we actually have that picture. So right now, yes. you guys can see this picture huh. of you in that bikini. That was the bikini. You looked really good, and you still Thank look you. good. So it, we can see it all worked out. So Mary, what would you say to people out there that are struggling like me with trying to lose weight all on their uh, own? What would you say? What is? It's just you take your time. Your body, you're young. Mm -hmm. That so when you want you it, when you know, <laughs> oh, well, we're all young. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> um, you're you're gonna know when it's time for you to change yourself mm -hmm. because it is a it's a lifestyle. It's a it's a, it's a you got to change your life. Right. So when you realize when you look in the mirror and you see something that you don't like, you're gonna want to change it. Right. And it's gonna be hard, but certain things you're just gonna have to just like. If you want something, you gotta you gotta do what you need to do to, to change it. Right. Like, I love uh, McDonald's. Mm -hmm. I, I I still do. I don't eat McDonald's a lot, but uh, I used to con I used to consume a lot of me. I stopped for like a year. Okay, so it, it takes discipline, and you gotta do it for you. That's right. Basically. basically. So Mary, thanks again for coming to the show. Oh, you're welcome. Guys, don't go anywhere. Up next, I have a trainer that's gonna teach us more about how to lose weight.
With me right now is personal trainer, Robert Fulton. So please tell me more about what it is that you actually specialize in. Well, specialize in general fitness. Mm -hmm. um, just helping people receive their goals, whether it's weight loss, getting ready for your police, de police department, firefighters mm -hmm. test, anything that has to do with fitness from a marathon, the new thing out, mm -hmm. the Tough Mudder, um, bodybuilding, mm -hmm. fitness modeling, whatever their fitness goal is, that was my main goal when I got started. Okay. To help. Okay. So, how long have you been doing that? This past August made 21 years. Wow. So, so that I've is been awesome. in the business helping people for long as my daughter's been alive, so <laughs> it's a good thing. Yeah, it is a good thing. You must have a really, very really deep connection and passion to this. So tell me about your business and, and a show that you have as well. Um, I own Fulton's Fitness LLC. It's basically a 7,000 square foot facility. Okay. And we also promote the Mr. and Mrs. Connecticut Bodybuilding Show in mm -hmm. June. And we just finished the WNBF Pro Cup in October. So with this, you really are teaching people how to you know, work out and stay fit. So a lot of people out there, there's a debate about how many times you need to go to the gym, and it sounds like you do you know, a whole array of different things. So can you answer that question about how many times you should go to the gym? Because I know a lot of people are probably watching. For the average person with today's hectic work schedule, mm -hmm. you should try to get at least three times a week, 45 minutes of weight training, and at least three times a week of 45 minutes of cardio. Okay. Um, you should also do the cardio first thing in the morning on an empty stomach okay. or directly after your workout when it's going to be more efficient and more better for your body to disperse the body fat. Okay, and speaking of your body, what kind of advice can you give to people that are trying to have a healthier diet and they're trying to lose weight? What, what's some good practical advice that you should follow? It, I also teach a personal training class and okay. I ask my students, in all of your history channels and going up and going to school, have mm -hmm. you ever seen a documentary where they found a caveman or cavewoman whose bones were deformed from obesity? Mm -hmm. No. What did they eat? Leafy green vegetables, antioxidant fruits that were seasonal, mm -hmm. meat, and water. What else do you need to survive? Nothing else really. <laughs> Just taking all the good stuff. All the other stuff is junk food. That's right. All right. So really quick, where can people find out more information about you and your business? Or well, they can just go to the website. Okay. It's um, www.fultonsfitness.com or you can email me, robert at fultonsfitness.com. Okay, great. So guys, don't go anywhere. Robert's going to show us what we can do for a good 30-minute workout. We'll be right back. So we're back with Robert Fulton. Robert's about to show us what to do. So what are we going to do for this good workout? Right now, we're going to do a quick 30-minute full-body workout. Consists of dumbbells, yoga mat, and a ball. Okay. Remember, see your primary physician before you start an exercise program or before you start a meal plan. Make sure you're healthy enough and your heart is strong enough to start. So first off, first exercise we're going to start with squats. Okay. Most people do them wrong. So okay. if your knees track in front of your toes, you're putting a lot of pressure on your knees. So to show you how to do that correctly, you want to make sure pelvic tilt. Sit back, push your legs down, good, and then come up. So now, adding weight to that, we're just gonna take a simple set of dumbbells, keep your feet shoulders width apart, okay. and bring your hips down and back. Try to keep your dumbbells feet flat next to your ankles, head and chest up, and then all the way up. At the top, you wanna flex your quads and your glute muscles, because these are your primary movers in the squat. And down again, and then up. Now we can do three sets of 10 of these. Okay. Once the weight has become light, it's time for you to increase the weight. There's always this misconception of women. If I lift a lot of weight, I'm gonna look like a guy. You don't have testosterone, it's not gonna happen. It's just gonna increase your curves naturally. Okay. So weightlifting is good for women. Me, right foot forward, is a simple lunge. A little, little farther, spread them out, good. A little more. And the focus here is to bend the back knee and to make sure the front knee doesn't go over the knee toe line again. So bring the knee down, perfect, in and up. So three sets of these will also work on the quads, hip flexors, and glutes. Next up, we're going to move to your shoulders. Okay. 10 pounds comfortable for you? Yes, it is. Okay, feet shoulders width apart. Okay. Bring the dumbbells up to your shoulders, palms facing forward. Now the focus here, slightly bend your knees. Keep your abs nice and tight. 
press the weight straight up over your head. Ooh. Press the dumbbells together, come back down to your shoulder. Okay. You're gonna do a standing bicep curl. Two types. The first one is a hammer, so bring the straight up. Good. You wanna come a little higher so that your fist is facing the ceiling. Okay. And then to Remember. add more definition, it's a simple rotation called supination. So the palm would face the shoulder, and then again face the thigh. So, so nope, in here. Okay. And then up, spin, and then back down. Okay. Oh, with both? Yes, correct. <laughs> I was doing it with one. So now we're gonna work on the back. So, the focus is this, so I want you to face the mirror there. Okay. Feet shoulders width. Okay. Now, slightly bend your knees, bring the dumbbells in front of your knees, flatten your back, forward, lay down, going this way. Oh, Good. Okay. Now, Arc your chest up here. Perfect. Perfect position. Now, you're going to bring your elbows up towards the ceiling. Turn the weight sideways as you come up. <laughs> so now, the goal here is to work on the chest. So we don't have that extra stuff hanging outside the bra. And to work the back of the arm so you can focus on the triceps. So palms are going to face forward. I'm going to press them straight up. Squeeze here. Good. And then relax the elbows and come straight down. On the here. So it's nice and easy. So this will be considered your bench press with dumbbells while you're at home. Okay. We're gonna do one arm at a time so I can spot you carefully. Okay. Bring your arm straight up. Palm here, great. Now, elbow perpendicular to the floor. You're gonna bend the elbow here and extend, focusing just on the tricep. This is a tricep extension. So the elbow should always point towards the ceiling. You can alternate or you can do them at the same time. The best exercise for abs is crunches. It's the safest exercise that the main goal, other than tightening your abs and your obliques, it helps prevent back injuries. The best way to see your six pack is in the kitchen. What you put in is what comes out. So, hands lightly behind your ears. Now, most people do a crunch and they'll sit up and bring the chin towards the, chin towards the chest, which puts a lot of pressure on the spine. So as you do the crunch, I want you to lift your shoulders to the middle of your back, come forward, push your chin towards the ceiling. Perfect. This here prevents any neck injuries along the spinal column. Now, work your way up to at least four sets of 25, at least four times a week. And right there, you have a great workout for Whew. That was a good workout, y'all. After all of this, a girl's gotta eat. So we are coming back from the gym and as you all know I don't have a studio so we have to go to another location and so basically we are here at my church now we're about to use a room um, for this next part you know we're gonna have some good food coming up so anyways um, we're in my car by the way it's my cute little uh, Mitsubishi and um, what's on my mind right now is simply that <sighs> all right so I'm gonna be real with y'all it's really hard for me and my weight um, I know I might not look really big because I hear people tell me whenever I talk about this that I don't really look that big but for me I don't like the size I'm at um, weighed myself this morning I'm 169 pounds and I used to be like 130 you know so it, it's 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 a hard thing for me I struggle I try to lose weight time and time again but it's hard part of those part of the reason for that is because I am an emotional eater so if I'm upset or sad I'll you know turn to food you know to comfort sometimes which isn't good so I really have to overcome that and I know a lot of people out there you know deal with weight issues as well so you know if there's anybody out there who's overcome it or who's dealing with that I love to hear from you um, this show is really inspiring me to really you know get down and, and do what I need to do because I'm tired of it you know I don't want to gain more weight as I keep growing older you know I just want to be healthy have a good healthy lifestyle be fit and you know live a healthy long life so that's where I'm at right now so like I said I love to hear from you guys you all have my email one just show hit me up let me know how you're dealing with this and how you're overcoming it all right all right so we got to get out of this car and go to the next segment see you guys bye With me right now 
now is Danielle Cameron, who is on her way to becoming a certified wellness nutrition consultant yes. through ASPA, which is the American Fitness Professional Association. So I kind of know a little bit of what I'm talking about. Not kind of, you do, because you've taken yes, classes. Yes, I, I have. I've taken tons of classes. I've studied nutrition, and um, I am ready for my exam. Come soon. Good, so good. Um, so you just told me you worked out. I so did. naturally, what people don't realize is right mm -hmm. after a workout, your muscles are ready to take in as much nutrition as you can possibly give them. Okay. And you want to give them protein, and you mm -hmm. want to give them carbs, because okay. carbs make energy, which okay. help us which help us build muscle and mm -hmm. people don't believe it or not when you're working out you are actually tearing apart your skeletal muscles oh i felt it yeah My thigh is burning right now. i know so here we need to get you one of these okay asap now what is this now this is a actual protein smoothie that i made myself mm -hmm. it has a uh, pressed apple juice which is all mm. natural organic mm. strawberries bananas and a 90 calorie Turkey Hill Vanilla Frozen Yogurt. Wow, this is so good. It's sweet. Thank you. Yes, yes, and it's completely healthy. You want to drink mm. this up completely after a workout because you need to replenish. It's very important that you replenish okay. protein and carbs you so, lost during your workout. What else do we have? So I love to chef it up in the kitchen. So okay. I thought it would be fun if we chefed it up here. Okay. So naturally, after a workout, you do not want to weigh yourself down, and mm -hmm. it's important to replenish your body with protein before a workout because you're getting ready to do something strenuous. Like mm -hmm. I said, you're tearing apart that skeleton to muscle okay so you need to replenish protein before and after the workout okay so we're gonna pretend like you did this before okay so we have here an antioxidant blend which mm -hmm. is strawberries raspberries and blueberries okay. high in antioxidants and I have a bowl of grains for you that have flax seeds this quinoa right yes and mm -hmm. it is fabulous it's got blueberries mm -hmm. and it's granola but it's not okay. your typical Quaker oat so, so I'm just going to put a couple of scoops? Yep, you're going to put a couple. You know, dump the whole strawberries in there. Oh, I like okay. all that fruit in there. All right. <laughs> okay, get all those berries going. All right. Yes, perfect, perfect. And in that small bowl, we have what's called a, a strawberry preserve. It's all natural, 100% natural. Okay. And we're going to put that in there as well. And that's better than jelly. So it's okay. way better than jelly, guys. It's healthy, it's nutritious, it's pure preserve. So you're going to mix that up. Just one spoon, just, oh, just one. Get, okay. get it spinning, get it spinning here. We're going to place it on this plate. Okay. Y'all can tell I yeah. cook all the time, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to just help you out a little bit because <laughs> you want to make sure that preserve gets in there with okay. the grains and the berries to mix it up. Okay. And this is something I just made up. It's just an, an, an antioxidant blend okay. full of oats, berries, and it's got tons of protein and fiber, which help aid in digestion and is really good for weight loss. Okay, so now can I try it? It looks so good. It okay. is. It's delicious. Okay. Go ahead and take yourself a big scoop. Okay, I'm just going to try all of it right now. Mmm. It's got your crunch. It's got okay. your berries. It's, it's really good. I like it in the summer and the winter. A lot of people think because the berries, it's a summer thing. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of the strawberries are perfect in season then. But I'll eat this all year round. This is good. And surprisingly, I thought it wasn't going to be good because of the strawberries preserved. But it's actually really good. Yes, it's so, delicious. What else do we have here? I so, think we have some pasta. Yes, this is vegetable high fiber pasta. Okay. Remember I said you need the carbs to replenish the energy in your muscles. So you're okay. definitely going to want to have a pasta. If you want, you could throw some more protein in there with like a little grilled chicken, pieces of salmon, mm. and I just mix that with some herbs and spices and a little bit of olive oil. Can I, can I take all of this? Yes, this it, so it's good. all yours. It's all this yours. This is delicious, guys. Thank you, thank you. So Danielle, if people want more information about you, where can they find you? They can email me at simplyhealthyfoods at yahoo.com. Okay, good. All right, so up next, we have somebody that's gonna share with us some sweet treats. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to the show. With me right now is Melanie Hickson, the brownie queen herself from the Brownie Factory. Hey, how are you? I'm good. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. Melanie, I'm actually really good because I have a sweet tooth. Mm -hmm. So I just cannot wait to try your treats today. So tell us, what are we trying? Well, we have three different options for you guys today. Everything mm -hmm. that is displayed here today is all organic and okay. gluten-free. Okay. We have our Zesty Lemon Blondie Truffle. Mm. We have our brownie bites that are chocolate chunk brownie bites that have white chocolate and okay. organic walnuts in them mm -hmm. and then I'm we have the, one. and we have the cookie form of it as well mm -hmm. now mm. as you're biting into it this is so good 
as you're biting into, I'm just letting everybody know the health benefits and why you want to choose the Brownie Factory products. Mm -hmm. So we're very conscious about what we put together. And everything you're eating right now is made with oatmeal, mm -hmm. flaxseed, and quinoa. Wow. We use raw cacao powder. Mm -hmm. We use everything as pure as possible. We do have some organic cane sugar in there. Mm -hmm. Everybody runs from sugar. However, because it is such a high fiber dessert, mm -hmm. it balances out the sugar. So as it's going through your bloodstream, it actually doesn't give you the rush that you would normally get from okay. something that is made with a bunch of processed stuff. Okay. But it'll give you a nice balance and you're actually being edified by it because you're getting your fiber, you're mm -hmm. getting your protein, and you're getting some omega-3. It's so soft and chewy, guys. It tastes so good. It's really, really good. Now, what about these? These look different. They these are really these are zesty um, lemon, zesty lemon blondie truffles, mm. and they're dipped in organic white chocolate. And this is I, so good. I make I make them with real lemon, mm -hmm. lemon zest, lemon pulp. Mm -hmm. So I try to use as much of the lemon as possible. Again, mm -hmm. just going back to keeping it real, keeping mm -hmm. it pure, mm -hmm. so that whatever you're getting is real. You're enjoying every bit of it. Now, what is this on the inside? Because I see that's the lemon blondie. The lemon blondie. Oh, so is that's that cake? Yeah. Okay. It's, it's you know how some people say blondies or brownies mm -hmm. instead of there being chocolate in it, it's just um, organic brown sugar. Wow, okay. So it's chewy, it's zesty, and then you have a little bit of the white chocolate to cover it a little bit just to give you a nice, just elegant dessert. And it's a good balance. It doesn't taste too lemony. It mm -hmm. doesn't taste too sweet. It's just right because I know that everybody has a sweet tooth. Right. And this is really, really good. Now, let me ask you something. So I, I, I hear you telling me all the good ingredients. Now, calorie-wise, some of us are on diets. And we count okay. calories. How many calories do these things have? So the first thing that you tasted with the brownie chunk, the mm -hmm. chocolate chunk brownie, um, you can actually have four of those brownie bites, and you're only going to have 90 calories in all four of those bites. 90? Wait a minute. 90 calories? 90 and calories. 90 calories and two grams of fiber. When you eat it, it doesn't even taste like that. You know you buy these little 90 calories? Yes. And it doesn't <laughs> even taste like a real brownie? Like Exactly. This, this doesn't even seem like it would be 90 calories. I can't believe that. It's 90 calories. You can indulge and enjoy. So when you want a little something to snack on, mm. you you don't have to feel guilty. You can just say, you know what? Let me have me a little brownie bite. Maybe two, maybe four. And you're only going to get 90 calories. So wow, I think it's a blessing that it kind of came together that way. <laughs> and these are here. These are the cookie form of, of the brownie, the brownie bites. bites. Okay, let yes. me see if that tastes different. I'm just going to take a little piece. This is great. It tastes just as good as the little brownie bites. Okay. Melanie, thank you so much for coming. If people want more information, where can they find you? They can go to my website, thebrowniefactoryonline.com, or they can email me at thebrowniefactoryonline at yahoo.com, or you can check me out on Facebook, The Brownie Factory LLC. Okay, great. Melanie, thanks right. again for coming to the show. To all of you, have a happy holiday. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.